come let's talk about some of the important developments from down to earth now the first is cyclone tamers now in odisha uh, the mangrove areas need to be restored and there have been constant effort to restore the kendrapara district the region where mangrove species are found and more than 27 mangrove species some of the major ones are given here and they have been under a constant impact of the cyclones and the flood in the region so there have been decision which has been taken into account by the environmentalists talking about the grazing land in the village and how to protect the banks of the water bodies with the help of german agencies there have been small seeds in uh, being plotted on smaller lands and this would actually create the restoration of the species and some of the mangroves also uh, help in protection from the floods and the cyclones and therefore uh, badkot mangrove forest have to be protected the next is mineral partnership now india joins the mineral partnership this mineral security partnership is a group of developing nations headed by united states to increase investments of critical mineral supplies so here those minerals which are essential and critical have to be preserved so a deal has been signed between french and british government where a mine uh, would be developed or would produce enough of lithium to run 0.5 million electric vehicles in a year and this is one such experiment then india has talked about the gallium resources and india has nearly 20.8 million tons of gallium resources the studies have been published in geological survey of india which talks about uh, the germanium being found in coal fields so again there are various um, um, uh, rare earth minerals we could say or precious minerals which are to be explored and india is dependent on the imports so far the next is in the north atlantic ocean there has been extraordinarily heat waves and these have been affecting the marine life they have been causing global warming and uh, el nino conditions have been generated which have triggered the increase in the temperature now with this uh, higher temperatures there have been mass death for fishes marine mammals and seabirds which has also led to bleaching of the corals the next is peru has scrapped the bill stripping tribal tribes for protection and this actually uh, is one of the ideas where the indigenous rights of the tribals are to be taken into account now the bill which was backed by the giants of oil and gas uh, was introduced in the peru and this was to create establishments in the indigenous areas of the tribal belts of peru affecting their region the next is distress gauze index now this index talks about early warning in agriculture and would be rolled out in next few months the idea is it would give an early indicator of the crop failure or income loss or market fluctuations if there so farmers can assess their crop there are seven indicators 21 questions in those indicators and they would be in the terms of high low and medium stress so farmer can actually identify in what kind of stress situation the farmer is based on which the public distribution systems and solutions under it for example direct money transfer or rationing of uh, the solutions could be brought there can be various cooling solutions that can be brought now this is an interesting topic with increasing uh temperatures or global warming there have to be resilient ways or ways through which lesser energy is being used for cooling purpose now air conditioning is definitely one of it but it has a huge carbon footprint and energy consumption specifically in buildings and construction so there have been various ways through which spaces for cooling have been demarcated and india became the first in the world to bring out a cooling action plan this is a prediction how 20% in the cooling load can be reduction in the cooling load can be achieved by 2037 and this would be by adapting climate appropriate steps 30% reduction in cooling energy can be done only by increasing efficiency and better services so there can be various customized solution for example reduce uh, the ceiling fans do not reduce the air temperature they simply blow away the hot heat desert cooler is another important device ventilation dehumidification are simple systems but here we have a system which has been recently developed and here there is a wind tower and a tunnel so 
here the hot air goes in through the wind tower it passes and through the tunnel it gets cooled now this cool air would enter the rooms and the hot air would go out so replacing air conditioning through this tunneling system is one such example a 100 meter long tunnel 4 meter below the earth's surface can have a significant impact on the new buildings that are created and reduce the temperature by 10 to 12 degrees celsius the next is passive downdraft cooling so water sprinklers can be resulting into the top of the system and this would actually bring in the cold air and the hot air can be passed out so this water mist which is generated through micro ionizers can again be one of the fruitful therapies for reducing the heating or the temperatures the next is evaporative cooling here again hot air is passed through a saturated water container and this would actually bring in thermal comfort so here there is another example for indirect evaporative cooling warm air comes from outside there is an heat exchanger the water vapor rises up and the cool air can be actually seen through the the next is uh, humidifying so in Tijara in Rajasthan there has been one of the training institutes that is uh, working with evaporative cooling systems where the air comes in it goes through the water carrying pipes and the air and the heat exchange takes place dehumidification is another important technique Nalanda University is implementing the discant based evaporative cooling and that is used for dehumidifying so here we have uh, the discant actually removes the extra moisture the warm air makes the descendant remove the moisture and actually reactivate so dehumidified air enters into the room and brings in more uh, cooling impact the next is the secret trade deal the type secrecy means the citizens are not uh, pricey about the deals that would affect them directly so there have to be a trade negotiation that has happening at the back there are lobbies of top manufacturers working for the same and extending the lives of the patent or the medicine beyond 20 years which would delay the generic entry is one of the efforts under this the next is carbon border adjustment mechanism now this would affect the india's metal export to united uh, european union and more products would be affected because this would be the carbon border uh, adjustment mechanism would be a tool to fight carbon change uh, climate change in european union and only a uh, fair price on carbon emitting would be given so uh, there would be certain commodities which would actually stop the the export of that would be halted so india is one of the third largest trading partners of european union and could see major impacts because of this Urban area is seeing a higher increase in the unemployment rate. Uh, there have been unemployment schemes like Manrega, but there at the same time there are families who are not earning enough from the traditional work. Uh, Indira Gandhi Shari Rozgar Yojana, similar to the Manrega scheme, has been launched. In 2023, there have been increased number of employment days from 100 to 125. Uh, under the Indira uh, Shari Rozgar Yojana, the scheme actually brings in cards which have been issued by numerous people and they have an increased number of work from 100 to 125 a day but there are various challenges because the wage amount that is being given is not that good and uh, a person who earns normally 271 a day laborer would earn less than 250 a day where the market rate in Rajasthan stands around 500 so there has to be an impact which has to be taken into account and a mix impact would be generated similarly in kerala there is a scheme the ayankali urban employment guarantee scheme which has nearly 0.32 million families which are beneficiaries there have been efforts which are made to include the private sectors in providing the job aspect the next is ayurveda under ayurveda heal the system therapy so here natural ayurvedic medicines the concept of that has been increasing post pandemic. Uh, India has been working with Ayush, which is Ayurveda, Yog, Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha, Homeopathy, and Sogaripa. In India, the uh, the population of the doctor population has reached one is to. 834 which is much far better than what has been recommended by WHO as one doctor per thousand people so 80 percent availability of allopathic doctors and Ayush doctors have been 
achieved already but still there is lack of patient access uh, an institute must have a student to bed ratio or um, uh, 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 a patient to bed ratio with a similar norms as a inpatient and outpatient service also the ayurvedic practitioners have been talking about the five and a half years of course and a internship similar to the mbbs course under the uh, ayurved there are few important courses which are being taught for example charak samhita uh, prashusti and stri yog bal rog and uh, ras shastra which is the pharmaceutical science which is similar to what has been taught under mbbs just the names differ and the language or the medium of instruction differ now there have been similar observations which have been made in regions let's say uttarakhand maharashtra punjab tamil nadu where ayush practitioners have been working the next is watered down now most of the states have been uh, under the dependent communities for uh the water uh cleaning and the water services being provided there have been two important programs in light of that namami gange and national river conservation both of them aim to clean up uh, the region and provide uh, continued water supply in the region in uttar pradesh there have been various uh, rivers which have been revived in the last 5 years and there have been work for eight rivers in the regions of jhansi jolna doria uh and kushinagar which have been working the idea is to clean these rivers under the ngt guidelines similar efforts have been done in bihar where there are small number of rivers which have been cleaned even in madhya pradesh karnataka uh this has been seen the next is developing crisis here uh antibiotics are actually a low return venture and pharma companies are now moving on to development of new antibiotics the anti uh, anti microbial resistance has increased and the idea is to bring in antibiotic uh, um, in such a way that uh the duration of the antibiotic is not more than 2 weeks for any case except tuberculosis so that's again a very important thing and goods which are non excludable that means which are available to everyone uh are non excludable and non frivolous means uh if i am enjoying it i am not reducing the benefits of others for it so those are the ways through which antibiotic and its promotion should be taken into account now w uh, who world health organization has listed 12 pathogens that are antibiotic resistant one uh, is the category which is the critical category here uh, the list of the bacteria have been mentioned so they are multi drug resistant the two is a high priority again the list of um, bacteria have been mentioned which would be available in the handouts there have been marginally new ones which are developing resistance against antibiotics so what are the class of antibiotics and the antibiotics for the same have been mentioned in this list so again a very very important aspect and as you can see there are various infectious diseases which are anti uh, microbial oncology we have uh, the rare disease where antibiotics are commonly used in immunology then in cardiovascular surgery so there are various ways under which antibiotics have been used and the various phases of the uh, antibiotic Uh, priority pathogens the phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and new drugs as you can see has been changing over the years and we have seen a increasing number of phase 1 that is critical multi drug resistant antibiotics even uh, there have been the various phases and the uh, developers which have been targeted under each of the uh, vac uh, bacteria or the, each of the pathogens the list of them have been available here so uh, if we look on to the timeline we would say that pfizer has been talking about a small molecule antibiotic then novartis talked about 32 antimicrobial projects which were in 2016 sanofi also talked about uh, r&d which was given to german tech uh, evotech and then we have similar antibiotic developers milenta therapeutics and others which have been working so all these policy regulations and the 
ट्रीटमेंट्स फॉर एंटीबायोटिक्स और द एंटी बैक्टीरियल ट्रीटमेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर निमोनिया बाय द नेबरट थेरेपेटिक्स हैव बीन रिलीज देर आर वेरियस पॉलिसी फ्रेमवर्क अगेन सो ग्रीन कार्ड द ग्रीन क्रेडिट प्रोग्राम विच इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रोग्राम्स इशूड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एनवायरमेंट एम्स टू लेवरेज क्रेडिट फॉर इको सिस्टम सर्विसेज एंड दिस वे दे कैन एक्चुअली contribute to unloading of the raw materials reducing the pollution and bringing in the storage of the product fox fish is a herb which is smells like the fish and is having numerous health benefits since it smells like a fish it is also called as fish mint and has a very distinct speech, uh, smell chameleon plant is another name for it and it is commonly seen in the regions of southeast asia uh, it has two important varieties the chinese and the japanese chinese variety is seen in china and vietnam japanese from nepal to J uh, japan and this has a lemon or a ginger aroma now this is known as mardu in meghalaya and is used in salad and cooked vegetables it is used as a delicacy has numerous medicinal properties it is also used in assam as sunduri which has a tangy flavor rich in vitamins and um, then it is believed to be anti allergic anti inflammatory used to treat asthma and is beneficial for lung diseases also scientists have talked about uh, the spices and the antioxidant capacity of those the taiwan based researchers have been working with the extraction there are numerous other health benefits related to losing the body weight the fat the plasma insulin resistance which has been associated with the hox fish or the fish mint it also aims to reduce the symptoms of pneumonia and covid-19 and uh, the researches for the same has been published in various articles now in india open defecation the 150 years of mahatma gandhi's birthday in 2019 was declared as the year of open defecation free india and there has been nearly access to 600 million people uh, who have been provided sanitation facilities and toilet facilities but still 17% of the rural india defecates in the open and that is one of the questionable things that we need to understand so using toilets would be a idea of behavioral change the next is advancing southwest monsoon and its pattern so Uh, we have seen the advancement uh, in the region and heavy rains in the regions in the last month as it is uh, now some other information the gemcovac om targets the omicron variant of the covid-19 the vaccine for the same has been rolled out and that is the india's first mrna vaccine which would be rolled out the diabetes in children have increased nearly 40% in the last 30 years which is remarkably high and has been published in one of the studies in the jama network article uh, there have been amendments for the proposal of nature's restoration but that was rejected by the european parliament and there has been a fear for agriculture and food security in the european union also uh, talking about the banning of logging in the country has been stated as a foolish act by the president who says that let the mature trees rot in the country uh, in why are you letting the mature trees rot in the middle of the shortage which is seen in the nation so those were some of the key things that we have discussed for today the uh, the handouts for the same would be available on exam day's current affairs section don't miss those wish you very good luck thanks for joining in in case you have any questions or queries feel free to connect back on our number 9989008851 so that is for today if you have any questions or queries feel free to connect back thanks for joining